excited to speak to you today. You guys are the cutest, cutest thing. Thank you. New season. And what can you share about Beatrice and Jorge? For season two? Yes. Yeah. Go, uh, have you seen Have you seen the episodes? So I'm letting you say what you can. <laughs> uh -huh. I can say that um, they are much more fun with each other in season two. Um, they are in a happier, better place with their kids as well in season two. Um, and they're embracing their, their new lease on life, especially Jorge after going through a heart attack. He's uh, just kind of going, you know what? Time to embrace life and, and live a little bit more. And I second what Benito said. And um, without any spoilers, we are reaping the benefits of all our hard work in rekindling our relationship and um, which also is playful and awkward and sexual and something that you're not used to seeing uh, middle-aged people in. Are we middle-aged? No, we're older than middle-aged. <laughs> well, okay, everybody lives to 100. We're still middle-aged. Uh, I've never figured out what that it's, is. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know what that is. It's about people in their 50s, right? A long-term committed relationship um, that is still fun and connected and uh, intimate and redefining itself. And that is a really, really refreshing thing about the show. Would you agree with that, Nancy, from what you've seen? I think so. And I really like about you guys' as characters is that you guys are real. Like things happen, relationships are tough. And mm -hmm. situations, you know, happen. And sometimes you get like sidetracked. But at the end of the day, you're giving you an example that you can rekindle, like you say. And if you want to make it work, you can make it work. But you and have to put in the work, right? Yes. You got to put in the work to make it work. Yes. And I think that's a big effect on the kids because it's not like, like it's aspirational like but you also get to see the work it's not like we learned from season one that being in denial and not telling our kids then sharing with our kids the obstacles and the difficult things that we have to go through is not serving them it's not showing them that you know a relationship that's long term or healthy and loving is still messy and it still takes a lot of work it's not just this magical fantasy like happily ever after and boom it's over no 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 there's you know a lot of choice making and decisions and hard work and some arguments and then you know apologizing and checking in with yourself and seeing what you need it's complicated and i only think season two like they're getting the life skills our children are getting the life skills by our role model that we've given them to like figure out how to do it for themselves definitely well thank you for your time I was pleased to speak with you. Oh, yes. I, so I know. Your name is Tapia. Tapia. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm from New Mexico. So we have a lot of Tapias in New Mexico. Padillas and Tapias. Are you, do you happen to be from New Mexico? I'm not, unfortunately. Cool. It's just a unique name. So I just was wondering. It's, I know. It's, and we don't, we don't bump into Tapias very often, right? No, ever. <laughs> Um, well, thank you again. Constance, can I tell you that every time I see you and think of you like, and I see you in something, I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing you doing the washing machine. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really, really do. See, Benito's <laughs> agreeing with me. <laughs> I'm so proud of that movie. And to this day, people are like, oh, we just saw it in Chicano Studies class. And I'm like, really? That was so long ago. But thank you for saying that. You're welcome.